Now, as for weather, following days of scorching hot temperatures, many parts of Korea is again under a heat wave advisory, with today set to be the hottest day of the week. That means the mercury remained above 30 degrees Celsius in most parts of the country. Arirang's Eun Shin hit the streets of Seoul to find out how Seoulites are dealing with the heat and high ozone levels. It is yet another scorching hot day in Korea, with a heat wave advisory in place in numerous cities across the central region of the nation. Today is said to be the hottest day of the week. In addition to the burning weather, an ozone watch was in place in the southwestern region of the capital Seoul. But that didn't stop locals from enjoying a hot and sunny summer day. It's quite hot and I'm aware of the heat wave advisory, but still I'd rather be outside and not miss out on the perks of the season. Sure, the weather makes you sweaty a bit, but it's summer. It's supposed to be hot and humid. Considering we're in the midst of a monsoon season, I'm rather grateful for the nice sunny weather like today. While the clear sky makes it difficult not to be tempted to be outside, the city of Seoul has been repeatedly stressing the importance of staying well hydrated as well as minimizing outdoor activities to avoid heat stroke and being exposed to high ozone levels. When the scorching weather is combined with high humidity, the discomfort index also tends to rise. And this often leads to a decrease in productivity, higher stress levels, and even accidents on the road. According to the Road Traffic Authority, in the last five years, the nation saw car accidents happening 13 percent more on the days when the temperature humidity index was higher than 80. The high heat is expected to last until tomorrow, but the nation should cool down a bit in the afternoon with some on and off showers expected in the southern parts. Yunshin, Arirang News.